Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Toy here. Today, we will be talking about two topics. We will be talking about rate anxiety and we will be talking about gatekeeping and how I deal with both of them. So, let's just get it started. Now, I'm not sure whether I am the right person to call it either anxiety or whatsoever, but this was what pretty much describes what I am feeling from time to time when I play this game. I got over 8,000 hours into this game. I have completed nearly all content except for Gate 4 Theomai. So there are some things that I have been going through for the last two, two and a half years. One of the things that people might notice themselves as well is whenever people end up dying, some people will end up turning the whole chat into a League of Legends lobby. Obviously, the Reddit is spilled with all of these pictures where people go absolute bonkers, which breed a whole lot of negativity. And one of the things that I do have with my patients as well and talk about a lot is that your energy, whether it be positive or negative, is very, very contagious, as well as the other ones ones are as well so part of it is if you are feeling negative or whatsoever the best thing that you can do is take a break now this doesn't mean that you have to not play the game for months or whatsoever and maybe you do but let's face it if you are feeling negative and are not having fun that would be one of the best tips now this could also mean that if you are feeling that negativity is influencing you, your gameplay or whatsoever, which happened to me yesterday as well. I was playing Theme Mind Gate 3 hard mode. I greeted a couple of times, died. People started yapping in the all chat and I started feeling like I had to defend myself. I just wanted to have fun. And yes, I do greet a little bit here and there. But there's some ways on how I deal with this that pretty much lowers the chance for me finding people like these. Now, obviously, it's, it's a coin flip, it's the luck of the draw, but what I do find is if I do my raids very later on into the week, people are very stressed out. All this FOMO of, oh my God, I want to complete the raid because I'm not getting the goal, otherwise, bloody, bloody, blah. Now, if I do them very early on and get my hardest ones out of the way ASAP, then things turn way easier throughout the week. And I even got to this point where I said to myself, I want to keep having fun into this game. I know this is part of the process that I don't want to feel this negativity whatsoever. How can I enjoy myself then and do my raids as fast as possible? Have the first two weeks, not even do any dailies do all of the weekly straight away uh, be done by about friday maybe even saturday and if you then want to do your dailies you get all the time in the world are you then getting less rewards yes does it really matter maybe but then again i like my positivity way more than anything the one thing that might not help but i do feel it influences a little bit is whenever people talk my bad i just respond to them like hey it's okay dude because whenever i mess up my gameplay starts becoming worse because I do want to perform myself as well. And the same thing happens whenever I mess up, I die very nonsensical or whatsoever. I type my bad, was trying to greet it whatsoever to at least let the people know I am aware of my gameplay. Please let it slide, right? And it doesn't take up a whole lot of effort. I don't know the actual efficiency of it, but let's face it, it is one of these small things that you can do to make your experience in others just a little bit better. But at the end of the day, you are facing people that are big PP heads at the end of the day that will be raging into your face. And then the best thing that you can do, leave the lobby, Take a breather, find yourself a new one, and see whether that helps. Because I found many times by just switching the party that the toxicity level lowers and the chances of success raises by tenfold. It's absolutely nuts. But then moving on to another topic that needs talking about, and it is gatekeeping. Now, obviously, it's one of the most talked about things within Lost Ark, because guess what? We want our raids done as fast as possible. We don't want to help newbies. Everybody can eat a big pee pee, right? Okay, now, how can you try and lower the chances of getting gay cap? Let's start off with the easy things that are out of the way. Starting off with the roster level. Now, obviously, if I see anything below 100, I can be thinking one of two things. If it is a uh, below 100, it could be a new player. It could be a veteran with a different roster, which I really don't get because I only have time for one anyway. So that makes me think like, okay, how much experience will these people have regardless of the titles that we are filtering on? 
Easy ways to increase your roster levels, very simple. Do the whole story mode, don't do knowledge transfers. And this helps with one other thing that you will get gay kept on if you don't focus on this ASAP. And that is Light of Salvation 30. Now you might be thinking, oh my God, this is something that will take time or either your wallet or whatsoever. But whenever I did South Curzon story quest, I found myself having an average of maybe two, maybe three gold cards by default ladies and gentlemen it was so easy to get some of them it was insane do that with six characters because you got six alls then oh my dear lord then one of the things that are easily forgotten is the tower now you get yourself three levels with so many floors that will net you with so much roster exp that if i would have completed this on every single character i would have been roster level 400 if it was out already Next up will be Cube, and Cube is definitely good for two reasons. One, you get a lot of card EXP. Two, you get yourself a lot of gems which are necessary within a game anyway. But then again, one of the things that it does give as well is a roster EXP. Now, if you do this nicely, you can benefit from it for multiple reasons. If you go all J, press yourself the weekly stuff, then you got yourself the Chaos Dungeon, which you can simply click, do all of them at least three times a week and you will find yourself a 1.3k for every single one of your roster characters. Now, if you do cube twice a week, which definitely is not the right thing to call out right now because you might wanna use cubes in tier four for leveling up to level 70. But then again, if your roster level is possibly one of the reasons why, let's say you are getting a cap, then this could be one of those things that you can aim for. And then if you press Alt U, you got yourself your contribution onto your guild. Now, this is easily filled if you find the right guild and then kill one of these little bosses. And if you even kill one of the very first ones, it will allow you to get at least 150 contribution points on top of everything else that you can get. Throughout the week, this will allow you to get yourself some uh, bloodstones and in turn will have you net the chance to get either silver, which is valuable, or a cube ticket, which will then add to your roster level as well. Another thing that you might get kept on is the fact that you don't have any demon damage. So if you go here, demon damage, and you find yourself all the says that you need to increase and find yourself at least, I would say 5% demon damage, because after that point, it will be a little bit harder to get whatever is needed because yes, all these gold cards are obnoxious to obtain. Now the last tip would be get yourself at least level nine gems on the characters that you wanna play. Now I would genuinely say cooldown gems don't matter that much, but if you get at least level nine damage gems on your main skills, that will at least decrease the chances of gatekeeping by at least a little bit. Now some people have said that even if you put these gems all the way far at the bottom left, they are not visible enough. So even the setup might even give you a little bit of a benefit so the cleaner that your resume looks, the chances of you getting invited becomes way, way more likely. Now I am probably forgetting a lot of tips, but these are the first ones that came to mind. But then there are a few obnoxious ones that some people might not be able to do so, me included. Find yourself a friend. If you find yourself a friend, you could make one support on each character. You can switch, then you have at least two characters onto your weeklies that have the ability to not get gay kept because then you can make your own parties, which is tip number two. If you don't want to get gay kept, do the gatekeeping your damn self. Let's face it, those are the tips that I got for you right now. If I missed out anything, please put it down into the comments and let me know what you guys do for not getting gay kept. And I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Peace.